Hey guys, it's Puxper. Welcome back to another video. Today in Fallout 76, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get acid. I'm going to go over some of the best methods in my opinion, and then uh, I'll go ahead and link in the description a bunch of the other methods and uh, what materials you can actually get acid from. So be sure to check the description for more details. So there's going to be a couple ways to actually get acid. Um, you can either get acid by killing like mobs, monsters, or creatures, and they will drop like a decent amount of acid on them. Um, or you can loot different materials and like junk around the world and then scrap them down into acid. And then the last method would be pretty much farming acid from workshops. So in my opinion, I think killing the mobs is probably gonna be the most if time efficient. So if you don't mind sparing some ammo to kill some crickets, but Let's go ahead and go to the first location. So we're going to go for, to a place called Tangra Town in the Mire, which is going to be on the far right side of the map across from Vault 76. It's going to be right where this marker is, so if you look towards uh, this little red building up by this little tree, a little bit to the right where this little tree spot is, and that is where we're going to be able to uh, farm out a decent amount of crickets and it's gonna give us around like 40 acid I think because there's like a, a little group of crickets that spawn here if you wipe them all out they give you anywhere from like up they can give you like five to like eight acid per cricket so we can get a decent amount here uh, I'll go ahead and show you guys and yeah let's let's get there all right so here we are we have arrived at our destination Tangra town and so now we just need to go ahead and locate the crickets and I'm gonna go ahead and lead you guys to the location. So now that I discovered it, I went ahead and just fast traveled there for no cost since I'm already here. And then I'll go ahead and lead you to where the crickets are gonna be. So we're pretty much looking for a large cave. And if you go in here, there's gonna be some anti-freeze bottle, empty coolant. So these things will also give you some acid uh, on location. Although this is not the main uh, reason why we're here. Go ahead and snag it, cause might as well. So yeah, this little shed has a little bit of acid in it. All right, and I believe we have to head up this little tree here and you're just gonna see from the spawn point you can loot this house. I think there was something in that house as well, but this house has a little bit of acid. Come up here and then we can go to the tippy top. All right, so here we are. This is pretty much what the cave entrance is gonna look like once you get to the top. Oh, there you go, cave crickets. So we'll just go ahead and kill some of these guys. You can see there's quite a bit of them. They're very, fairly easy to kill. And you can see this has five waste acid and that's just one cricket. I'm just gonna remove all of this. All of this. And you wanna just go ahead and explore the entire cave and make sure you clear out all the crickets. There's gonna be like almost five of them. And if you're interested in gold, there's gonna be some gold as well. Yeah, it's a bit of different like materials in here. Gold, crystal, why is it smoky in here? Is that supposed to be? <laughs> Wait, what the heck? But yeah, you can see like there's crystal uh, veins here and gold veins along with the crickets. So this might be a pretty good farming spot if you're also interested in gold and crystal. But yeah, so that's pretty much the cave. It's a really quick clear. Uh, you just kind of have to climb up, get all the acid, and we'll just check my inventory. Um, we'll go ahead and go back to the workbench and scrap everything down so we can get a full tally of how much I've got. And if you go to this shed, which is also in the area, there's a dead Brahmin in here. There's a bunch of fertilizer here, which also gives us acid. So there's a little bit of the looting, a little bit of the killing, and honestly, the combat's not too difficult. So I do recommend this spot as probably the best. And we can go here, scrap all the junk. So from this one spot, I have 60 waste acid. And it took me like five minutes to just go in here, kind of loot around and scrap it down because there's like two workbenches on either side. Go up into the tree, into the cave and kill all those cave crickets and I've got 60 acid. So if I just server hop right now and I did this again, I could get another like around 60 acid. It's a little bit random because the cave crickets, um, they drop like a random amount, um, but they can drop up to eight per cave cricket. So that's pretty good. And then also you have to hope that these sheds uh, on either side are not looted. Um, but yeah, I mean right there that's 60 acid each. Um, so I highly recommend this spot as the best farming spot. But like I said before, everything will be linked in the description. All of the extra details regarding other ways to get acid, all of the items that can give you acid, and also the workshops that can give you acid. 
So there's going to be one workshop on the map called Hemlock Holmes, and it's going to be this one right here. Oh, Hemlock Holes Maintenance. And you can see right here, this has three acids. So if you're interested in the workshop route, initial work, and then you can go ahead and farm acid passively while you're doing other things. You can get the workshop up in this corner near the crocodile for Vault 76 reference, or sorry, for Vault 76 reference. It's just kind of diagonally up this way. Right there is the workshop, so you could do this for acid, for passive acid, and then I would highly recommend this spot for actual uh, farming because you can loot and you can shoot and you can get about 60 acid a run. Um, so yeah, that's going to be pretty much it for this video guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please let me know in the comment section below. Any positive or negative feedback, let me know as well. That way I can improve. Um, but yeah, until next time.